YouTube and welcome to Texas site to race number 28 of the NRSL Hooters series season number four in race two of the chase and join me in the booth is Doom Pod the third. Hello guys, how you doing? Front row today will be Chris Louvier in the Navy Chevrolet starting alongside James Qualls, a pair of non-chasers. There'll be a pair of chasers though in row two with points leader Time Pollard starting alongside Sky Commons with William Brock and Mohamed Zainadula row three. Oriel Pollard will start alongside Chaser Jessica Shelton in row four, with last week's winner Charles Sanford starting alongside PJ Williams in row number five. Here's the rest of the starting grids. I hand it over to Steven. So as we, I have no, I have no idea what to expect. The cup race we saw our, our wrecks and the single file and the trucks. We've seen three and four wide sliding up the track, go to hard racing. So kind of interesting to see. Time Pollard is the points leader. And he's starting up there. So like we saw in the cup series, somebody didn't make a turn lap one, and the trucks we had it didn't have a wreck till late in the race. So I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but it's going to be a really good race here at Texas. And your final row coming up is Paul Swanson and Arj Marinowskis. Yep. As the points situation coming into play today, it is Time Pollard by 29 points over Sam Young, 44 back to both Jessica Shelton and Bafode Sacco, 47 back to Fitzwater in fifth, Jerry Shelley is 56 back, Kev Shear is 59, Sheila Shear is 80, Mary Shelley is 86 back, Hunter Braxton 10th in points is 89 back, Sky Commons Zach Flickinger round out the top 12 as here comes the command. Drivers, start your engines! Worth mentioning, it is only 110 points back to Zach Flickinger, so everyone in the chase could still leave here as the points leader today. Here are the onboards that we will carry, starting... Is it starting to lag a little bit on me? Starting with the 01 carrying the Chevy onboard, it is Sam Young. Kev Shear is carrying... No, he's not. Never mind. <laughs> Sheila Shear is carrying the Arby's on board. Are we going to go after the race? Uh, unfortunately, no. AutoZone on board is being carried by Time Pollard. This is not even bad. Jessica Shelton is carrying the BB&T on board. As I'm just going to have to say the rest of them. Um... Rest of the onboards, uh, Bafod Sacco is carrying the Menards onboard, Zachary Fitzwater the Ford onboard camera, Jerry Shelley the Road Loans onboard, and Hunter Braxton is carrying the Dodge onboard camera. Uh, worth mentioning as well, in the battle for 13th in points, Ace Rogers comes in with a four point lead over Dylan Young. As the green flag is out for the Interstate Batteries 300. So let's see if what's going to happen. Uh, remember, the, like I mentioned, the Cup Series, the Roush car didn't make it through turn uh, turn three. So we'll see what happens. It is lagging. Uh, yeah, Charles. this is bad. Hold on. We'll take a moment on this. And we're back. You haven't missed anything yet. As Sky Commons now goes to the race lead. I'm hoping that resetting it will actually make it work. I don't know what else to do. Is there's... Big gap back here. Preston Plord has hit the wall off turn four, apparently. Not hit the wall. He's buried the wall. <laughs> As I'm not sure where he would have hit it, but oh, there's wrecking up in front of here. Is oh, there goes everybody. Oh my God, Sheila Sheer Sheer is in it. Mary Shelley is in it. Preston oh, nice plow. Nice plow. Nice plow. As Becky Lynch has gotten herself parked on the apron, is she gonna be able to get away? Looks. Like oh my. Well, Eric, oh Jesus! Oh Fitzwater. my God! The Kev pit Shear, road. Max Anderson. Oh my God! We had a secondary wreck there. The, it's still the game is lagging so bad. I wrecked the field. As looking through, there is the list of drivers. That Hunter Braxton's in it. Sheila Shear, Sam Young, Amanda Shelley, Samet Oscon, oh Kev Shear, Henry Williams, Alger Baranowskis, Ace Rogers, James Qualls. Preston Plord, William Brock's in it. That's almost that's almost the whole damn field right there. And they are pitting underneath the caution. Oriel Pollard is your race leader right now as they uh, when they came back. I just oh, like to God. mention three of the top four are Pollards. What? And, and this is the okay. point where Steven's going to quietly exit the broadcast. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure how or what sorcery has gone on here. 
I'm liking this sorcery. Hey, Charles won last week with a big gas tank. Now it's time for the Pollards to sweep the top three. As, oh, oh no. that was contact there, Pollard and R.J. Reynolds. As Pollard, or, uh, Steve Paul third to second, and time Pollard just Jerry choked Shelley that. Jerry Shelley third, Kyle Matthews going to be fourth, and Mohamed Zainadula fifth off pit lane. Let's take a look back at what happened to bring out the yellow for the first time today. And we're back. Here's what happened coming off turn number two. They are three wide here with Isaac Flickinger, Smet, Oscon, Max Anderson, and Flickinger just gives absolutely no room to the 15. And then that's just... Uh, and then 18... Jack James going to rear end the four. Just nowhere to go for anybody. And yeah. five got turned right there by Sheila, and then Sheila got turned into the four, and then the set, all three at the seven. Mary Shelley, Ace and Rogers the... is going to get run into from behind by Preston Plord. I, th I think while we have it paused, we can see what happened to Floor on the first lap. Uh, yeah, we'll probably take a look back at that. Let's see where Becky Lynch got involved in the... Oh, that's where. You can't see through the smoke. It's just like you can't go anywhere. The 10's on the apron. 3 hit the 7 right there. 7 hit the 17 into the 0 there. And yeah. then up there, just uh, <laughs> death illuminated. Yeah, uh, you could say that again. <laughs> As wow, they're already kind of around. Comments what level. happened here? Oh my! Well, that was never going to work. It's Sky Comments led the I first. I mean, lap. they wrecked for the going for the lead. And when you wreck it for the whole field, like we saw in Milwaukee, that's not going to work. PJ Williams washed up into Chris Luvier, and that's where it gets started. Oh my God! Twenty six hard in the wall. The one side of the wall. Twenty five turns to the six, and then a nowhere to go for the oh, nowhere to go. Runs right oh. into the eighty eight. And then, and then here comes the back the track. Oh, oh, Dylan oh, Young. God. Dylan Young. Arca breaked it. Oh, Hunter God. Braxton, there's Sam Young, Isaac Flickinger, and Zachary Fitzwater. Oh, my God. And the 15's going to plow oh, on the egg. Anderson. Oh, my. <laughs> well, that was Lynn an ass. Brock you. runs into the 16. Oh, there's God. Amanda Shelley running into it. Walls hit somebody again. Oh, my God. Huge bre Arca breaks. The panic D sells at one. Jack James was in it. Oh, God. P.J. Williams. Oh, God. Look at everybody on the brakes still trying to avoid the wreck. Uh, and, yeah, we're going to have tons of onboards to take for this one. Oh, yeah. Seriously. So let's do that and then take a uh, Actually, we'll take a look at what happened to Preston on lap one, and then we'll take some onboards. And here's what happened to Preston. He, had, he started 38th on the field, and this is what happened to get his day off to a rough start. Becky Lynch slides up the track a little bit into the 48, makes contact with the 99 wow. as well. Great save. Not and, for not for Floyd, but... <laughs> I mean, it was a great save to make sure to not spin the car, but yeah, just hit the wall off turn four. That's what happened to him. Let's take some onboards now of the other wreck though, and see what happened there. On board, Zachary Fitzwater. <laughs> Well, the charcoal is burnt after that. Oh, oh God. <laughs> onboard Hunter Braxton is we might end up taking onboards with every single driver that had one. Seriously. Oh, wow. That is not what you want to see out of your windshield. He slowed up too. And he still got it. He's gonna. Oh my god, you're just gonna get slammed. On board, Sam Young. Wow. Jeez. <laughs> gonna need a new pair of hefty after that. And then he just, well, oh, God, just nobody stopped. Oh, God. <laughs> On board, Sheila Shear.
Oh, it's not over yet for her. Yeah, it was. <laughs> On board the food sacco. And because we did watch the rest of the line, this. Just the good old boys. Oh my god, that was death part three. And we are back after that first incident of the day. Preston Plored, Zachary Fitzwater, Sheila Shear, Jack James, Hunter Braxton, Sky Commons, Max Anderson, Amanda Shelley, Samet Ozcon, Chris Luvier, Alex May, Dylan Young, Isaac Flickinger, Kev Shear, and Sam Young all out of the race. Uh, you see Becky Lynch right here. Algebra Analysis is currently getting towed around the entire track because he was too far... <laughs> Nah, he, she was too far in front of her pit, and so they couldn't reverse the car back up and all that. So, yeah. Oriel Pollard is your race leader over Stephen Paul III, Jerry Shelley, Kyle Matthews, and Muhammad Zandula, the top five of the Sacco, RJ Reynolds, Johnny Gardner, William Flickinger, and Charles Saint for the top ten. Time Pollard is the highest running driver that we know of that took right side tires on the pit stop. Oriel Pollard, Stephen Paul III, we know for a fact, took fuel only. Well, it, go, As going the back. flag is out, we're back to racing here in the Interstate Batteries 300, and how far off the pace is the zero? Well, well hopefully we don't see the same thing that happened with Kyle Matthews and Jess uh, earlier this year. Oh, well, William protection. Flickinger, good job. Uh, <laughs> that's why he's so far. That's There's why he's so... uh, She's oh, returning no. to the race. Oh, no, don't do oh, it. Oh, God, so... Tim Randolph, nearly. This is not going to work. Oh, this, this is, gonna, is not going to work. End well. This is this not going to well. end well. <laughs> Two oh. cars off the pace now as the leader's trying to no navigate. Oh, Tim Randolph is so impatient. Yes, he is. I don't blame him. I don't blame him either, man. That 20, he's so slow at 26 with heavy damage is passing him. As there they go, they finally clear Becky Lynch. Now ends on a resident Ace Rogers stuck behind. And three wide for the race lead. Here comes Kyle Matthews to the inside of the 89. This makes us missing the chase hurt even more. <laughs> as look at the huge gap back to the 27 as it is an eight car breakaway for the race lead right now. Well, if they don't kill each other, it's still going to be an eight car breakaway. As three wide now, Muhammad Zain Abdullah goes to the inside. Here and comes he has... Jay Reynolds going to slide up. Oh, oh my God. What are you doing? Oh my god, no, Oriel. Don't Two, get the moment. Was a three. <laughs> oh my god, here, well, Reynolds is pretty low in points. He's like 40, 40. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> this has been more. Uh, wow. Are oh you no. Sliding up. That's going to open the door for the Fode Sacco. What are making you, it work I, right now? I can't believe that worked. I can't. The Fode Sacco looking for five bonus points. They're rubbing doors to turn three. Oh, that's not going to work. That's that's somehow working. Oh, Jesus is taking the um, wheel. Um, not <laughs> sure how, but Food Sacco leads the lap, though. That's five bonus points to the eight. This is incredible, and uh, this this is absolutely amazing. Oh my I God, don't eight know sides how up. How they are not dead. The tires. This is a lot better than the cup race. <laughs> uh, I'm not quite sure how they're making this work. I, I don't know. Sacco is loving what he sees in his rearview mirror, though. I think. Maybe well, not, not. I don't know. Here, here comes, comes Johnny, Johnny Gardner. Now, remember, if we have a photo finish, Jerry Shelley lost to the 15 in a photo finish early in the year at three units. So. Yes, he did. And Jerry Shelley looking for five bonus points for his championship run as they're going to be four wide for the race lead. Oh, my God. Oh, there he goes. Oh, oh, oh big wreck. Jesus Christ. That's a huge hit. Here comes the field. Oh, this is not going to work. Oh, no. Oh, my oh, God. They How them. did they not die? How? Oh, no, what an idiot! Enzo Norezzo with the heart jump of the race. I don't know what to call it. And As so at I... the line, somehow, Buffode Sacco is leading, and they're going to stay by four thousandths over Oreo Pollard. <laughs> oh, my God. How the hell did nobody hit them? <laughs> I really do not know. As Johnny Gardner takes his car to pit lane, are they going to hit again well they need tires if they're sliding up that much well but Fode Sacco has not taken his well now he will okay 
Well, Oreo Paula has decided to take the lead himself. <laughs> I think Tim Randolph might have run into the back of the 91. I don't know. Well, then that's... Uh, no sign of it there, I guess. Either way, Jerry Shelley will take his road loans card to the pit lane now as well, and let's take a look what? back at what happened and how Enzo Nareza did not just make that a three-car crash. <laughs> And we're back. They were making it work so well, but then Oreo Pollard kind of has them staggered four wide almost. Johnny Gardner nowhere to really go. And then Jerry Shelley does not give any room. Hard hit to the Supercuts Dodge there. And yes. this was the scary point right here as they slide up the track. And uh, just as Shelton's just going to barely miss the 22. <laughs> and then Ezra and Ezra, where are you Ezra going? And Nereza, Swerve! <laughs> like, well, right. I don't know how he was. What I think was Stephen, Stephen Wallace was in the 66. I mean, he just goes down. I don't know why he was down there and. Just, <laughs> wow! Man, almost had to bring up the. I had to bring up the road course car after that crash. And with that, <laughs> let's take an onboard with Jessica Shelton and see how close that was with the two car. On board the two. <laughs> and we are back. Johnny Gardner was the lone retiree during the uh, last caution as Bafod Sacco is your race leader over Oreo Pollard, RJ Reynolds, Muhammad Zainudula, Kyle Matthews, Stephen Paul III, Time Pollard, Alexander Rowe, William Flickinger, I or Zach Flickinger, I mean. Charles Sanford is running in 11th. Jessica Shelton is in 12th. Paul Swanson, Chris Washer, Tim Randolph, Jonathan Zorlin, James Qualls, Mary Shelley, Henry Williams, Enzo Nereza, Ace Rogers, the top 20 with PJ Williams, William Brock, and Jerry Shelley rounding out the top 20. Actually, I'm sorry, Enzo Nereza rounds out the top 20. And uh, Jerry Shelley rounds out the lead lap cars. So, With that, though, we have 26 cars running, 24 of them on the lead lap, and... A little bit less than that in contention, actually, for the win. Yeah, Becky Lynch is definitely not in contention. Um, well, she's also not even one of the lead lap cars. I'm just meaning there are some of the lead lap cars that are damaged. So, As the green flag is back out, and Becky Lynch is definitely not the... Well, I was going to say she's not the slowest uh, lap car, but then, yeah, that happened. Yeah, and Barry Nelson is not too bad off the jump, but... Oh, boy. <laughs> As, let's see who's going to be the first one. It's going to be Charles Sanford who gets stuck behind the zero. Paul Swanson. And Charles trying to get down the inside. Jess is going to get slowed up. Shelton's going to get like... stuck. Yep. Tim oh. Randolph throws it in there, though. Oh, my. Jess tried to get to the bottom. Yep, she tried. Um, as, man, that zero is slow. Just like in real life. Door should be open there now for Shelton, and it will be as Henry Williams now is going to be the one stuck behind there. As now the pack is starting to catch up to the top two. Well, and they thinned out a little bit on that restart. Is Time Pollard going to be the one to go to third? I, trying I to don't chase think. Down the Fode Sacco. Does the 27 even have a top five this season? Uh, I believe they, they recorded it last weekend, actually. <laughs> trying to make it back to back but man everybody is sliding up racing so hard as gonna try and go inside of rj reynolds there for the sixth position and time paul is looking pretty good right now as he's battle for the race lead <laughs> oreo paul man <laughs> as here comes that 21 auto zone chevy he's trying to make a uh race for the lead as there's three wide Hey, hey, Card Pollard, if you're watching this race, oh boy. Oh boy, four wide, that ain't gonna it's, work. That's definitely not gonna work. That's Alexander Rowe, they're making it work. No, they're not. Oh my god, what a hit. Oh no, well, off the wait track. Wait a minute, just turned Willie. Oh my. Oh my god, what a hit. <laughs> Holy crap, oh, Baranowski's plowed. Oh, oh god. Is in it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a hit. <laughs> oh my god, the 26 just to a dead stop. Oh my god, that's huge hit. That's a blue hit. Mary Shelley Mary sideways. Shelley just got glitched onto oh, the pit lane, I think. The <laughs> oh, yeah, my God. Mary Shelley got glitched into the pit lane there, basically. Oh, my God. That was brutal. 
as Zach Flickinger just turned William Flickinger. Well, that's going to be an interesting Thanksgiving right there. Um, <laughs> as the turkey will not be shared. <laughs> William Flickinger with a hell of a hit. Charles Sanford will not go two in a row, and James Qualls is just innocent bystander there. Oh, Qualls might have a concussion. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> as Time Tom? Pollard is your race leader, let's go back and take a look at what happened. And we're back. Here's what happened. It's very similar to the last incident, except this time it's brothers or relatives or something. I don't know. But William Flickinger goes for a spin off his uh, off the 12s bumper. Oh, my God. Right up the track in front of Charles Sanford. Nowhere to go. Chris Washer going to do a great job to miss that. Baranowski is going to hit the This hit three. right here. Oh, my and God. That one. Oh, God. That's <laughs> Brutal as hell. Qualls just came to a dead stop. Mary Shelley somehow find a zone to go through. And 26 looks like the car, the truck that ended up seven, 19 years ago. Oh my god. And Baranowski's just nowhere to go. Hits the sixth. The three everywhere. Oh my god. But Jesus, I can't believe that was smaller and than I it was. We actually honest. got a couple of onboards that we can take of this. So There's let's do that, and then we'll take you back to the restart. On board, Jerry Shelley. Oh. And we're back. Time Pollard is your race leader over Oreo Pollard, Bafod Sacco, Alexander Rowe, Kyle Matthews, RJ Reynolds, Muhammad Zanadula, Stephen Paul III, Zach Flickinger, and Tim Randolph, the top 10. Enzo Nereza, Jonathan Zorline, Jerry Shelley, Chris Washer, Jessica Shelton, Ace Rogers, PJ Williams, Paul Swanson, William Brock, Henry Williams, Mary Shelley are the lead lap cars. Charles Sanford, James Qualls, William Flickinger, and Alger Baranowskis retiring out of the race after that last incident. And we will have a 10-lap shootout to decide a winner here at Texas. And Qualls was taken to the local hospital for father evaluation. For further, not father. Damn it. Um, <laughs> William Flickinger, the same. Um, as there we go, green flag is back out. We're underway once again. No Becky Lynch to worry about this time, so this field's going to be together. At least for now, we'll, I mean, we'll have a better indication of who are the damaged cars now. As Oreo Pollard, uh, like I said before, Card Paul, you better be on watch because Oreo might win this. As right now, Buffett Zacco trying to go for second as he sees the points leader up there leading. Yep, trying to gain points. I don't remember who won the cup race at Pig's Creek, but that's really bad. Um, doesn't really matter for this series anyway. Yeah, well, it's trying to make They are sliding up the track right now. Um, Tires are crap here. <laughs> well, remember the difference of some people took them, some people didn't. But Phil yep. Sacco was one of the drivers who I believe did not. I mean, we didn't check it back either, so no clue. Yep. As here we go. Now, both sides of Sacco trying to come for the win. Yep. As now Alexander Rowe going for third on the 52 car and actually going to try and peek for second down the back straightaway. Uh, Rowe trying to get a second. He won the trucks earlier this year. He was trying to get his first uh, Hooters win. I believe so, yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. Three wide now with the 24, 99, and 52. That's not going to work. <laughs> Might not That's... end well on the back straightaway. <laughs> Maybe not. As if the 11, oh As no, this there's not, Zane no. Abdullah, Alexander Rogue clears the front of it though. I can't believe he cleared him out dying. So they're back to three wide now down the back straightways, but Fode Sacco is catching up to the 21. Ooh, Ooh, some contact there. Oh my god. <laughs> 24 and 52 with some contact in turn three and four. They keep it going straight. They're pinching each other really hard. Jessica Shelton trying to sneak back into the top 10 right now. Kyle Matthews loses the front end in turn one. Yep, and here comes the 60. 60's been horrible all season, trying to go up there for a win himself. Inez still has a pair of pants, and he's coming up here. <laughs> Meanwhile, contact oh, 89 oh, in the 12. Jesus. God, Jesus lost the hood on that one after that one. 
<laughs> There's a reason why it's not on the hood of this race, apparently. <laughs> As Tim Randolph loses the nose now, nearly contact between the 89 and the 06. As now that will open the door for Enzo Nerezza there to try and look for the top 10. Oh, there's going to be contact, I think, there with the 66, and they're three wide for 11th. And here comes Just trying to make up some points. She lost, losing is stuck behind Becky Lynch earlier in the race. Yep. As and Jerry Shelley's just trying to kill the pack. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, yeah. As he's now going to go and throw it in there three wide with uh, Jessica Shelton and his own teammate there of Zorline. Which I think Time Paul got in the right groove because, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As right we saw now, at the cup race, but when the Rex spanned out, the pack was like single file. So Ty Paul got himself in the right groove. As Zach Flickinger now tries to make a move on Zayn Abdullah, not able to do so. Right as, now, it looks like those two tires are going to be the difference for Ty Pollard. As Ty is trying to expand his points lead to end the series, now trying to show he's the dominant RCR car in the stable. <laughs> I don't think that's going to last him for too long, based on the way we saw that first 26 races, though. Yeah, or he's just going to get turned again. Oh, wait, you Two can't say that. Two laps to go for Time Pollard here at Texas. It's just going to be it's just gonna be walking all over again. <laughs> Three and wide back here. Tim Randolph just got the wall off turn two. Tim Randolph still in the race. Uh, Alex in the row. I believe he's only had, like, two top fives this year. It's a good run for him. Are they... Okay, no, they cut. Oh my God, they cut <laughs> Becky Lynch, so that's race over for the win. Good, good win, time, Pollard. Oh, they might just oh, die. Oh, Kyle Matthews time. gonna get stuck. Oh, they're all gonna die. Every wow, this is not gonna end well. And look well, at all the points Jessica Shelton's trying to make up now. Well, um, Becky Lynch is not gonna have a lot of friends after this one. I don't think so. As through turns three and four now for the final time. And it'll be the AutoZone Chevy that wins the Interstate Batteries 300. Time Pollard <laughs> wins at Texas. Yeah, that was a good result for them. But uh, Sacco, he's not going to have a big point streak because Sacco finished second, but uh, it's got, he led the most laps. So that's nice. Well, you're saying he did. We don't know that for sure. Uh, Zach Flickinger is finished sixth, but the flight back home might not be a nice one. <laughs> <laughs> P.J. Williams will finish the day out in 20th, and William Brock will be the final lead lap finisher there in 21st. Yep, and uh, go win the time. RCR looking pretty strong. So RCR trying to win a title in, in the both series. So, As the running order today, top 10 results. Time Pollard, Buffode, Sacco, Alexander Rowe, Oreo Pollard, Mohamed Zainadula, Zach Flickinger, Enzo Nerezo, Jonathan Zorline, Kyle Matthews, and Jessica Shelton, the top 10 as it looks Ended up being that it was a rookie type of day there. Uh, they didn't get the win, but a lot of rookies there as the ones finishing the day out. So they said they're the ones who survived. Yeah, basically. I looked down at the bottom of the results of all the drivers who were retired from the day uh, race today. Stephen, your final thoughts. Uh, this is just like the cup race did. A lot of wrecks. Uh, some people going to the hospital. And whoever survived did well, like we saw Mark George, a single foul, nobody could pass. But good win for Time Pollard. Uh, we'll see how long it can last in the points lead. I think next week is a road course race, so we'll see how it goes. Time has, had some, time has had some bad luck at the road courses, so we'll see how it plays out. Uh, Braxton, Commons, and a lot of guys who wrecked, they've got a lot of making up to do, but that's the magic of the chase. We've got eight races left, and last season we saw Jimmy Johnson make up a 200, almost 150 points to win the championship in the Real Life Cup Series, so anything can happen in this series, especially on equal ratings, so I'll tune in and keep watching. Uh, we're going to be flying to Canada, and then we're going to Cleveland for a uh, somewhat good race. Then we're going to... I love how you're saying this. I don't know what order I'm uploading these in. Thanks. <laughs> so now... The Enderman race is probably already uploaded, so we'll, we're going to Ohio now. <laughs> I don't know what order I'm uploading these in. We'll see. Um, we'll see if that if his statement is correct or not. But um, with that, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't today for more gaming and racing related content. I'm going to Fantoon One. This has been a production of the NRSL. I'll see you guys next time. See you guys.